hello friends hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to see a program on anagram okay so let's create a class a anagram and before starting let us like understand what is an anagram i hope uh, you know what is anagram but still uh, let's say okay let's make, let me take uh, two string so elbow and below okay so these are anagrams like even if you rearrange uh, like these characters you can get this out of this by rearranging okay so re uh rearranging characters okay so this is a classic example of uh, anagram elbow and below if you like rearrange elbow you will get below and if you rearrange below you will get elbow okay so let us like uh, try to uh, write a logic for the same program so we have written our main method let's take string one elbow and string two as below okay and we have to write the logic over here and here we are passing our string one and string two okay and let us oh what happened um mm. a private static void is anagram and here we are passing string both the strings okay so before like writing the code let us understand the logic okay how we are going to proceed with the one so the first uh, like the first part is that if the strings are not of equal length so let's say this is elbow and uh, this is something else okay so the first check is uh, if the length of both the strings are not equal then there is no way these are anagrams okay so we have to check for length if length not equal not anagram okay and in this case we will return like true or false so let's take it boolean okay and the second check will be that uh, like we will sort it sort it and compare both these strings okay so uh, like after sorting what will happen that elbow will become like b uh, e l o w i guess below uh, and below is already sorted i guess a b c d e v g h i k l o j k l m n o p q r s t u w yeah and below is already sorted so both these strings are equal so this is the logic which we are going to follow so let us like compare the length of both both of them so if string 1 dot length is not equal to string 2 dot length then simply return as return false okay and to fix this error let us okay we will do it afterwards or we can like uh, this error is coming because we are not returning um, after if don't worry so like we have to sort it how we are going to sort uh, we already have uh, a method arrays method but i think to use that we have to first convert it into char array okay and what it is returning it is returning a char array type so for that let's hold it in a char array um, let's name it string 1 or maybe c1 will be more better this is character 1 and similarly we are going to convert the second string into the char array okay after it let us uh, like sort it and how we are going to sort it array is dot sort uh, c1 and similarly for c2 
okay so here like after this point what will happen that uh, like array will be sorted and elbow will be written as below okay and after it we are going to compare both of them arrays dot equals i guess yeah equals so we are going to compare c1 with c2 okay and if this is true uh, return true or uh, maybe like rather than returning this we can return or whatever the array is returning back let us format the code okay so it will return as true or false and if the length is uh, like not equal we will return the false from here itself okay we don't like need to uh, convert it or in do anything else so let us run our program and see okay we are not uh, like printing the output so let us catch boolean bool okay and let us print the output that is anagram okay false can anyone um, find out the error why it is returning false because i can like guess it because see the e is in capital so after sorting also so like this elbow will be sorted as b e l b e l o w okay and this is as b e l o w so these are not equal because of this capitalization so we have to fix this like we have to put it in the lower case uh, so before converting it to char array let's put it in the lower case for both of them not char array to lower case save it format it and let us try to run now see it is returning true okay so uh, let us take second test case mm. let's take string 3 with spaces okay this time we will take space a gentleman and string 4 as elegant man okay we don't have to worry about uh, upper case and lower case now so these like i found this example little interesting so that's why okay so this is our test case number 2 and we have to pass our strings here string 3 and string 4 okay so this is also returning us true now let us like test it for uh or let's take it s only mm this is 1 to 1 and our next string is 211 so it should return true also and here we can pass s5 and s6 this should also return as true yeah this is true and net now let's take negative example like uh, that this should return as false because of the length so if you can see that uh, if like uh, this 4 will be compared to 3 and from here only it will return as false so we don't have to like trim it or maybe put it in the lower case or anything else and uh, like i know like you cannot like if you give this example in the interview so the interviewer can ask you to like write down the program like um, either they can reject it because you are uh, using the already uh, like this library sorting and equals but in the medium problem we will like write down the sorting algorithm also so 
लाइक इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब जब सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो दैट वेन एवर वी आर कमिंग अप विद द मीडियम डिफिकल्टी प्रॉब्लम सो एट दैट पॉइंट यू कैन राइट द शॉर्टिंग एलगोरथम ऑल्सो ओके सो दैट्स इट गाइज आई होप लाइक आई हैव कवर्ड योर डाउट एंड इन केस यू स्टे स्टिल हैव एनी इशू जस्ट कमेंट डाउन बिलो एंड आई एल बी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू थैंक यू